Hello, my name is Rezalyn and welcome to Satisfactory. Now in my third session, as we come back and rejoin where we're at, I have done one of the things that in order to get the resources that I needed and still own a temporary platform here in what I'm doing, I dropped three assemblers here and I'm just manually feeding the components in here to build things. I'm using an alternate recipe that I picked up for stitched iron plates, which uses wire and iron plates. I am building rotors in this particular component here, and here I am building modular frames. Um, means you're just manually feeding the resources that are needed into these um, assemblers and producing items that I need. Now with that, after I've got a number, the number of items that I need, I then went out this way, and you can see the power line going off this direction. If we follow the power line down through here, you can start to see in the distance up above the waterfalls a power plant. I have built a coal power plant at this point. So if we continue down through here, we can see the wire is still coming in here. I just flying toward this, you can see a platform up there with the coal power. So this was the episode that I've been doing and my third play session was to get a sustainable source of power that didn't require me going out and harvesting resources to produce. So and that's where, where we're at. So we came up here and you can see as we come in up here there I've got the a platform built up here. It is built up here above the waterfalls. I have eight generators here producing coal power and they are producing 600 watts of power. If I look right here the capacity is 880 because I still have the original 280 from the bio burners uh, but production right now is 600 the bio burners are not running because the current consumption is lower than the production of the coal so I'm not using any of the biofuel but it is there for emergency in case I need that now you can see that I have come over here off of the side and I have got a mark one miner that is pulling coal I have you can see that I've used some pillars to support my platform and make so that it doesn't look like it's floating in the air by magic bringing that coal over here and feeding it into a load balancer which splits this in from one line of 120 into eight lines of 15 each and is feeding that the coal into these coal power plants and so the coal power is being fed in there uh, this probably wasn't necessary but I wanted to try to make it work to where I didn't have to wait on the line to fill up and then if something goes wrong I then later have to spend all this time reloading it if I do a manifold and bring it down through there certainly neater to do the manifold but this was my first attempt at doing something with a load balancer to split it all in into eight pieces uh, it works I'm not real happy with it I will be honest with you it's, it's a lot more complex than it needed to be but it uh, it is effective and working. I have three water generators down here. I have to have a couple of pumps to get the water up high enough uh, from the uh, to lift the water up, and then I'm running the water in from above down into the into the coal power burners. Um, this is using gravity feed to get the water down so I use the pumps to get it high enough once it's high enough gravity is being used to feed down here I have found that a top fed uh, system for water or fluids in any fluids honestly top fed works better than bottom feed um, the bottom feed would probably have looked nicer but I, I have had problems with bottom fed systems in, in every playthrough I've done so far so I'm not going to use those in this system I'm always going to build a system where I pump the water the liquid higher than I need it and then let gravity feed it down to the location it's being used so this is my first little power plant just sitting up here on a platform and you can see off in the distance my space elevator and the the components there so this play session was all about getting my power built getting some of the power you know, ready and produced so that I could build out my, you know, start building out a platform. So in the next episode, I will be tearing down most of the starter area. Um, I, I will be taking it down and reconstructing it and rebuilding it out into what I consider a perfect starter base, um, not just a startup. So we've now that we've got coal unlocked, our next goal is to unlock steel and to produce steel. But before we go any further, I want to be producing all of the items that we need 
you know, for the moving forward in the game, that includes the rotors, the, the, uh, that I need to use the other nodes that I haven't used yet. There's three more iron nodes uh, and one more copper node that's within easy reach. And I want to use those nodes, um, in order to build out the rotors, the, the modular frames and the reinforced plates. So I've got a node that's building screws, rods, and iron plates, but the reinforced plates, I will use one node for reinforced plates, I will use one node for rotors, and I will use one node for the modular frames. I'll build however many I can with a reasonable amount of overclocking, which at this level or at this point in the game I consider 200% to be reasonable. Um, I do have slugs that I have picked up and turned into power shards so that I can drop them in in order to do that. Uh, but that'll, that'll produce the items that we need and that will be the focus of the next play session that I do is building out my but is kind of tearing it down and rebuilding it starting you know, up and making it to be more efficient and probably spreading things out a little bit more. Take care. Thanks.